Here's how I was able to make this pointed cube with the cloth physics in Blender. We're going to start with a new Blender file and we're going to hit RY45. That's going to rotate it on the Y axis 45 degrees, then hit enter, and then do RX45. That's going to rotate it on the X axis 45 degrees. And we're going to go up to the top here, add a mesh and a plane, and also select the move tool. We're going to move the plane up and then scale it by hitting S and making it bigger than the cube. Now this time I'm going to select the cube, go over to the planet thing, the physics tab, turn on collision, and then I'm going to select the plane and I'm going to select cloth. Now to showcase this, I'm going to hit tab to go into the edit mode. I'm going to right click and hit subdivide a few times. That should be good and then hit tab again. Now if I play this, this is likely going to rip through the cloth right there giving you a model that's not going to look good. So to fix that you're going to come over to these settings and you want to turn up the quality steps to I've been using 20 and also you're going to want to scroll down and turn back on or turn on under collisions self collision and this helps for 3D printing because it doesn't overlap and cause issues when you're trying to 3D print. Now if I hit space it's going to run just a little bit slower but it is not going to pierce through the model and we're going to have a successful cloth over a cube. By clicking self collision it prevents folds like this from going through the fold next to it so it just prevents a lot of errors when printing and solidifying. Now you can do the steps of the same thing of like the pin comment and go back through and export it and everything else. But I also want to show you that this works with any model that you might add. So we're going to go in and add Blender's default monkey head here and we're going to rotate him on the x-axis negative 90 degrees. So that was R X negative 90 and then we can give uh, him the same collision modifier and then come over here and hit play and it will uh, deform to him just like it did to the uh, cube in the sphere although it's not going to be as nice. If you up the subdivisions on this it'll look a little bit better and you can play with some of the cloth settings to maybe make it sink into the grooves a little bit better but that's this will potentially work for any model that you want to throw at it. If there's any other questions please feel free to ask but I also hit off this cube which is uh, a whole lot cleaner than this one unfortunately I don't know what happened here but this one is super clean now I did print with a raft just to make sure that uh, they it, it worked but yeah this is a very nice very clean uh, floating cube and if we put it under the uh, the T electric T light there and turn off the light it looks amazing uh, I, I'm absolutely in love with this effect. I will have these files on my uh, printables probably Friday with a few new staff models. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll try and answer them as best I can.